everyone, this is Sunet, and in this video I'd like to open up an, uh, an interesting discussion and some dimensions I've become aware of with an individual uh, sharing that they've become addicted to energy drinks. Um, you know, the, the energy drinks uh, such as Play, Monster, Red Bull, um, that... Uh, it's got obviously the the high sugar, caffeine, uh, all sorts of other contents, you know, to mentally and physically give you that quick fix boost of of energy. And where this individual had become addicted to these energy drinks, um, meaning throughout a day, uh, consuming uh, quite a many. Um, of those and within that the addiction you know being twofold in the sense of enjoying you know that that high that shaking adrenaline rush high that they get into but also you know the coming down and then having that another one and going from the down to the up and from the up to the down um, so here I'd like to open up some dimensions with regards to the energy drinks because I mean I myself in in, in, in recent months um, have been exposed to many athletes and there are a few of them who would have one of these energy drinks but this also you know with them being athletes they're exercising this individual who became addicted to the energy drinks does not do any physical exercise nothing um, essentially uh, a stay-at-home individual. So within the context of the athletes doing the physical exercise, the running, things like that, um, and they would do exercising two, three hours constantly at a time with maybe five, ten minutes break, you know, in between or within each one of those hours. Um, within having to keep up that mental and physical pace, they do utilize the energy drinks, but also only ever, uh, every once in a while. Additionally to that, they would dilute the energy drinks in, in water. Um, because within that process, what um, with communicating with some of these individuals, they say what they found is, just gives that give it gave them just that extra little bit of a boost, but at the same time, their mental and physical energy is always at a plateau because yes, it gives them a boost, but at the same time, it also gives them that boost to use their natural mental and physical energy, so they don't experience that going into a high and then dropping into a low, um, which is clearly what you can see very well if you take energy drinks but and you do not do any physical activity or physical exercising, where let's say your energy was at this level, the energy drinks will take it up to there, but then after the energy, energy drink will drop it down even lower than when you were here before. Um, and if this happens in and throughout a day, you've got this and then this drop happening, now you're at that drop, now you're taking more, and the energy can only become so much because then it'll drop even lower. And then it takes even more of your mental and physical energy of your body to try and keep up with the, the, the let's call it the quantum quick fix of the energy drink that you're giving to it. I mean, we're not realizing that, you know, with energy drinks, it takes more, in fact, mental and physical energy to maintain that energy drinks effect on your mind and on your body because it takes much out of the mind and the body to keep up with what you are imposing um, you know, into the mind and body through these energy drinks. So again, within the context of how these athletes have been utilizing it um, and also only when they've been exercising, diluting it in water once in a while, I mean, that's a different story. But most athletes, interestingly enough, who I've also come into contact with, what they do now is they've changed their diet, their lifestyle, their everyday life living based on more natural foods that they then eat. Um, before, they have these very strenuous uh, mental, physical, uh, exerting, exercising two, three, sometimes four, five hours at a time. 
So what they've done is instead of, you know, having these energy quick fixes, they've transformed their entire health, lifestyle um, in terms of diet and exercise where they've been training for some time to build up the necessary physical strengths of endurance to be able to last for longer during their competitions or training and things like that. But that has taken time. It has taken a lot out of them to change the way they eat, the way they exercise, the way they train, the way they prepare. Long time of remaining constant, consistent, disciplined and committed. For them, they do not use energy drinks at all. They have sourced more of their mental and physical energy, natural energy readiness through more natural means. All right. So that's been quite an interesting difference to note even right there. Because if we have a look at the energy drinks and being addicted to them, especially if you're not even doing any uh, physical activity or exercising, it's got much to do with our addictive nature as well in our energy bodies of the highs and the lows, you know, our feelings and our emotions. I mean, just have a look at how much within and throughout your day you energetically with your feelings and emotions go into ups and downs and ups and downs. Um, and with everyone who's been walking this process of getting to know our relationship with emotions and feelings, where instead of going into the constant energetic highs and the energetic lows, we start redefining positive energy and negative energy into self-expression from our being and our bodies through living words. Is there an experience within that? Yes. But it's on a being level and the physical level and it's defined as expression. And that's completely different than the highs and the lows of feelings and emotions. It's the extraordinary nature of experiencing your self-expression through living words is magnificent because it doesn't send you into the highs and lows that you have for these fleeting moments throughout your day. It comes from a depth within your being and your body. And your being and body is always as a, at a level of being constant, consistent, continuous, stable. Because you're always here with your natural self and physical energy. The mental energy of positive and negative, of feelings and emotions, actually deplete your mental energy and natural physical energy. And we've walked this explanation in in many interviews in equaf especially in the quantum mind self awareness series to learn more about that I would suggest having a listen to that series but for now um you know to do have a look at your relationship with energy drinks um because it also says much about our tendency to wanting quick fixes you know and how the quick fixes has its consequence. And it's so beautifully shown with energy drinks. You know, you've got the quick fix. Yeah, you're going on to that high. But the moment you get down from it and you drop, oh boy, you're going to drop mentally and physically. And it's going to have consequential effects on your mind and body because now your mind and body has to work extra hard to try and get all its natural energy back to a point of stability. So with energy drinks, it's taking up a lot more of your natural mental and physical energy than it's actually giving you for a short period of time. It's the essentially the, the illusion that energy drinks create, you know, that... Um, Drinking more and more of it will give you more of the high, more of the low, when all the while what's happening at the background of your real mind and physical natural energy is it just gets depleted, depleted, depleted. And it's interesting because it's quite similar to emotions and feelings. You know, we think the ups and the downs that our emotions and feelings create gives us that adrenaline rush of what it means to be alive when we haven't actually really learned what it means to live. And that you can discover in the process of redefining emotions and feelings into words. 
and what it means to live and express words on a being and physical level. All right, so that is what I would suggest to any of you addicted to energy drinks. It's actually just an externalization or, you know, part of the reason for it. I mean, there's also many other contributory factors to creating an addiction to energy drinks, but one of the, the prominent ones is our inherent addiction to the highs and the lows of our feelings and our emotions, and to have a look at introspecting and investigating and researching the process that we walk within Destiny and Equaf and the Destiny I process of redefining emotions and feelings into self-expression and living words. All right, so we'll go to here for this video and in the next, we'll have a look at the dimension, opening up the dimension more of our tendency towards quick fixes and the consequence, more consequence that quick fixes actually in fact create, which extends your process in something rather than you know, having the time, the patience, the commitment, the dedication to walking a process more patient, patiently, slowly but surely. Here, continuing with that difference, you know, of some of the athletes who change completely their diet, their daily exercise routines and things like that in preparation for being able to maintain uh, an equilibrium of mental and physical energy during um, extensive, excessive bursts of um, exercise. All right, so we'll have a look at what we can learn from energy drinks and athletes in the next video. Thank you very much.